Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we want to give a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's begin. How do you describe someone important in your life? Supportive? Caring? Understanding? These are the people with whom you've fostered deep connections. You look forward to spending quality time with them because you have such a mutually enriching and positive relationship. They're such a big part of your life that you can't imagine your life without them. Here are six signs that you're emotionally attached to someone. Number one, you find it difficult to let go of them. When you're emotionally attached to someone, they become important to you. As you progress in your relationship, slowly but steadily, you find it hard to imagine your life without them. If things get rough between the two of you, the process of having to let them go is very difficult. You're so attached to them that you can't imagine your life without them in it, and that notion scares you to the bone. Two, you really understand them, and vice versa. Creating a special bond with someone is the hallmark of an emotional attachment. Over time, you become more and more attuned to each other. As you learn more things about them, you get a better understanding of who they are as a person. When you both feel understood and mutually respected in a relationship, you feel like you both are being seen, heard, and accepted for who you are. Three, you absorb their emotions. Do you possibly find yourself taking on their different moods without even realizing it? People who are empathetic and highly sensitive often take on the moods and emotional states of the people around them, especially those they're emotionally attached to. This can lead to emotional and mental fatigue which can be extremely detrimental to your mental health in the long run. If you can relate to this, it's important to remember to maintain your boundaries and learn to regulate your own emotions. Four, you want your family and friends to know about them. Do you wish for this special person to meet the other most important people in your life? Your closest friends and family's opinions about your partner matter a lot to you. You have a strong desire for them to like this person just as much as you do. You want both parties to get along with each other and make good impressions on the other. Five, you take interest in the things they like. Have you taken renewed interest in writing or music or find yourself deep in a hobby you've never thought of before? Having an interest in their hobbies shows how much you care about them. Maybe you've never finished reading a book in your life, but then because this person has offered you to read their favorite book, you wanna finish it to impress them. You start listening to their favorite songs and watch the TV shows and movies they happen to recommend. And six, you wanna spend time with them more often. Does spending time with them make you feel happy? No matter how long you talk on the phone or get to hang out together, you don't ever get bored. The conversation never goes stale. You make plans to meet up when you're both busy. You call or text each other whenever you can. You spend so much time talking that sometimes you're having three completely different conversations simultaneously on three different social media platforms. Do you associate any of these signs of emotional attachment to someone in your life? Tell us about your important relationships and why they're special to you in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with someone who would find it helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.